Hi, this is Mark, Golden State AV Videos, and sorry I haven't posted for a couple of weeks. I've been tied up and then I have camera problems. So we're doing something a little different today. We're doing radio controlled aircraft. We're out at Reedley Airport. It's called the Festival of Giants. Uh, and it features uh, radio controlled aircraft from different parts of California. Uh, some of the aircraft are pretty impressive. They all fly. You can see a B-17 there. And um, we're also going to have uh, the Sheriff's Department jet-powered helicopter. And some other goodies. So sit back and enjoy the show. And I'll bring you the best that I can. I'll just do a pan around the airport so you can see the different exhibitors. There's also a couple of neat uh, full-size aircraft, meaning regular aircraft that that carry passengers, etc. On the tarmac, so I'll try to get those. And some people have come out here to camp in the RVs. So you can see there's quite a few people here. The airport is closed. They, they will run the Sheriff's Department. That's the first County Sheriff's Department jet helicopter. Uh, but the airport is closed. And you can see by the flag, we've got a pretty good wind today. And there's some of the some of the aircraft that are getting ready to take off. Sir, I'm uh, with Golden State uh, Videos. We're a YouTube channel, and we're filming this today. So I just I saw your airplane flying. Could you tell us a little bit about it and tell me who you are, if you don't mind? I don't want to put you on the spot. But. Oh, well, you can always figure it out, right? Yes, I can. There you go. You're perfect. So what's your name? I'm Jerry Davis. And where are you from? I'm from Pine Grove, California. Okay. Which is where? Uh, about an hour east of Sacramento. Okay. Never heard of it. It's, uh, Is it near Auburn? It's yeah. close to Southern Creek. You've heard of Southern Creek. Yes, uh, yes. Okay, so tell us about your airplane. This is my Hater 9 P-47. Thunderbolt, right? Thunderbolt. It has a Valley View 40 Twin in it. Okay. It's a nice flying airplane. I love it. Okay, and tell, you built it? It's an art. What? It's an art. I'm almost ready to fly. Okay. But I did have special graphics cut for it to make it different than all the others. Okay. Didn't we see it before, or was that somebody else's? Did, was it flying? I've flown it more than one time. Uh, but I mean, just like a few minutes ago? Yeah, yeah I just saw it. I saw it. I filmed it. Right. I saw it landing. That's the one. Okay, so you like, uh, you like uh, World War II aircraft? Did you work for TWA or you just have yeah, to have Oh, then we got to get that in. And I, I'll tell you my TWA story if you tell me yours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I worked as a mechanic for 17 years. And, uh, Where? In San Francisco International Airport. Okay. And uh, decided to change over to United Airlines, so I worked for 
United Airlines in the last seven years. And what aircraft did you work on? Oh man, I've worked on Super Connie. Okay, I flew on a TWA Super Connie from Cleveland to Indianapolis in about 1965. Oh, yeah. yeah, I loved it. <laughs> they retired them in 67, right? Because I just saw a video on um, TWA and they talked about how the students has preferred the constellations because they didn't have to work so hard. Because the jets were twice as fast and they have too much work to do in too short a time. So, yeah, fantastic aircraft. And I got to work on the 707 when that came online. That's okay. Okay. When we went in uh, Lockheed 1011. Yes, I flew on that on Eastern. And then I went on the United States, 737 and 757s and 767s and 767s and 777s. Wow. So, uh, the, the Connie's had a lot, of, a, a lot of maintenance, right? Oh, yeah. Well, that's typical propeller drift. Yes. Yeah. I found out today that the DC-6 had the same engines as the Condor 340. It was on a United video. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't know that. I thought they had smaller engines, but it was the same engines. That's what they said. Uh, one thing I remember, uh, when we got the, when the 747, yeah. uh, they flew that thing. It spent more time in the air than it did on the ground. It was flying over 12 hours a day. Wow. Well, that's how they make money. Yeah. And the Connie couldn't do that. No. Well, they, wouldn't they have to level them off as they climb because they'd overheat? Yeah. Yeah. No, no way. Right. So you got to fly, fly, fly for free, if I can say this. Uh, so where'd you go in the world? You know, I know. We're kidding. <laughs> okay. Did you live in the Bay Area? Whereabouts? Okay. Yeah, I've been up there many times. So great. So you do other model aircraft, or, or is this your only one? I'm going to take a picture of it here again. Main airplane, I have a Pegasus tow plane that I took to the Hydrants. Oh, yeah. So I do that most of the time. Is, was that the World War II? Okay. It's a, um, it's a mod. A mod. It's a very small one that yeah. I made with Pegasus. They, do you know that they fly drivers out of Avenal here in the Central Valley? No. Yeah, they have, they have a glider base there. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Schweitzer's and... Yeah. Oh, of course, I'm talking about Yes, I hear you. So, what appeals to you about model, uh, flying model airplanes? <laughs> the mechanical challenge to make them work. Yes. And uh, the pleasure of the beauty of flight. Yes. Especially when you can make the airplane go where you want it to go without thinking about it. Yes. So it becomes a part of you. Are they hard, harder to control than, let's say, uh, I mean, you have to do with a radio control, right? So it, it's pretty it's challenging, isn't it? Well, flying a model airplane is really hard to do if you don't know how to do it. Okay. But once you learn, yeah. it's not too hard. Okay. It be Got it. Okay, so how much time did you spend on this one? It took him only a couple of weeks to put it together. Okay. So it was mostly built. Okay. So had to put in the engine and the radio. And, and tell us about the engine. What is the engine? Well, the Valley View 40 twin. Yeah. And it just fits nice and snugly in the cowling and has that beautiful twin engine with the exhaust on it. It's a, a gas? Yes, it's gasoline. Okay. I run it on a 32 20 inch. Okay. Premium gas. Yeah. Does that open up? Can you show us the engine? It doesn't open. Okay, but it, but it's a little. I I've played around with model flying model aircraft, and it's a little. It's got the fins on it, and, and it's, it's it's a miniature engine basically. Yeah. Okay. Let me. Okay. And the cylinder is about inch and a half tall. Okay. Great. So you go all over the state to do this? 
mostly I like the giant scale rally that we have here. Good. And where is your club? Do you have a club in your area? We have a club in Ione. Ione, okay. Which is a little closer to Sacramento. Okay. Okay. So you fly every week? or? Oh, yeah. Three times a week, sometimes. Wonderful. Okay, so th I want to thank you for your interview. It was very informative, and uh, I'm really glad to meet an a ex-TWA. I guess, is it X or retired, or what would you call it? <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Okay, thanks a lot. I'm going to stop here.